Hi comic book fans and welcome to another Suddenly Comics video. Today I'm going to go back to the Suicide Squad movie and pick up three of the characters from the movie and tell you a little bit about them. The ones I'm going to be talking about today are Captain Boomerang, The Weasel and Ratcatcher 2. Okay, let's start with Captain Boomerang who is uh, his real name is uh, George Digger Harkness. So he first appeared uh, as an enemy of the Flash. Uh, in, his first appearance was in Flash 117 in 1960. Uh, so he's been around for quite a long time. I haven't got uh, that first appearance, uh, but I did have a scout around in the attic. I've got a few old Flash comics and joy of joys, I do have a uh, I do have a um, flash with Captain Boomerang on. There we go. So it's, this is not his first appearance, but there you can see his uh, very strange costume. So um, Captain Boomerang was born uh, as the offspring of an American serviceman and an Australian woman. And he was brought up in Australia in a place which begins with K, ends in G and has got a lot of O's in it that I can't pronounce. Um, so as a boy, he um, learned how to make boomerangs. And then when he got older, he went to work for a toy company demonstrating how to use the boomerang as you do um, but he got a bit bored with this and uh, turned to crime okay this guy has got a long history he has been around 60 odd years he's been killed he's had a son he's been reanimated so you know if you're interested go and look it up anyway he is now um, appearing he has been in the Suicide Squad a few times as well um, he was in the last film, if you remember, and he's one of the survivors from the last film. Um, he is played by actor Jay, Jay Courtney. Um, do I think Captain Boomerang is going to get killed? Well, he survived one Suicide Squad mission. So, you know, if you flip a coin two times, your odds of getting heads both times um is is reduced so i i think a few of them are going to get killed off and i think captain boomerang is going to get killed off in the next film okay next up we have the weasel uh the weasel um his real name is john munro and uh, he was a when he was a student at stanford he was a bit of a, a loner a bit of a solitary character and um, the other students uh, bullied him a bit and uh, got, he got a nickname which was the weasel many years later when he was an adult he was working um, at uh, what's the name of the university uh, Vandermeer University in Pittsburgh and he wanted to get tenure um, and so he uh, basically killed off three other people who were competing with him for tenure. The fact that these three people were also three of the bullies who had bullied him at Stanford, I suppose, was purely coincidental. Anyway, uh, then, then he ran into uh, Firestorm, who had come to the university for a professor's job. Um, he had a couple of fights against Firestorm, nearly killed him, but Firestorm eventually turned into Firestorm and uh, arrested the weasel who went to prison. Um, uh, he, was, he, did a, he, he actually um, did do a mission with Suicide Squad um, and attempted to kill the thinker. Um, he was only stopped by Rick Flagg and Rick Flagg then killed the weasel. However, <laughs> you've got to love these stories, haven't you? However, the weasel was then reanimated by the black power ring. I presume that's the black power ring from the infinity. No, well, that's Marvel. <laughs> no, no, I think this is a Green Lantern thing. Anyway, he was reanimated 
And once he had been reanimated, when he appeared in the comics, he was much more animalistic. Because early, when his first appearance, he was dressed in a weasel costume. But the reanimation does seem to have turned him into a sort of animally weasel. Um, so that may be, given that from the clip that I've seen, he looks doesn't look like a man in a weasel suit. He looks like a weasel. So maybe we have got the reanimated we weasel. Anyway, there's a bit of history between the weasel and the thinker. Um, so I think one of them's going to get killed. Um, uh, I think the weasel will survive, and I think it's the thinker that will get killed. Okay, that's my speculation. Okay, um, and thirdly, we've got Ratcatcher. Now, Ratcatcher 2 we've got. Um, who is a woman. Right, there isn't a rat catcher too in the comics. However, there is a rat catcher um, who's called Otis Flanagan. He was a sewer worker. Um, he stabbed somebody and he got arrested and put away. Uh, when he got out of prison, he then captured four of the people who were responsible for getting him put away and he kept them prisoner in the New York sewers. Um, for five years believe it or not and he managed to keep them and during that period of time he learned how to uh, train and communicate with rats and uh, do you know what the collective term for rats is well one of the collective terms is a mischief of rats i think that's very interesting and i think it's a very good word anyway he developed a mischief of rats that kept these four people imprisoned uh, one of these people eventually escaped, um, only to be killed by the rats just as he was escaping. Batman found him. Batman then tracked down Ratcatcher um, and uh, put him back in jail. However, it isn't Ratcatcher we've got. We've got a character called Ratcatcher 2, who also appears to be able to control rats. So we are speculating that Ratcatcher 2 is the daughter of Ratcatcher. OK, um, and she, being played by uh, actress Daniela Melchior. OK, oh, wait a minute. I do have the first appearance of uh, Ratcatcher. It is in this comic. It's uh, Detective Comics 585. And I forgot to show off my um, Weasel, <laughs> Weasel comics. Yeah, that is the first appearance of the Weasel. Uh, Firestorm, what number is it? It's number 35, if you want to seek it out. He's not on the cover, um, he's, uh, he's, 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 but he's his first appearance. And I also have, don't get too excited folks, the first cover appearance of the Weasel as well. This is a couple of issues later. There we go, you can see him in all his true glory. Okay, so finally, do I think Ratcatcher 2 is going to get killed? No. Um, we've got a very attractive woman playing Ratcatcher 2, um, and I think she's got some legs, if you'll pardon the pun. She's got lots of legs because she controls rats. Okay, uh, enough said. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Bye.